دانه ای موگاد God of heaven and also been to give him praise. That's been to bless his name for he's a faithful God, he's a good God. And that's been to thank him for Lord God for he's been a good God to us. Father, Father we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Worship. Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. The scripture makes it clear that he said if we ask anything in his name, he will do it unto us. Say this confidence we have that whenever we call unto God, He hears us and it will do to us what we have asked. But brothers and sisters, let us not be ignorant. Sin is an hindrance to God hearing us. Bible said in the book of Isaiah, He said His hands are not too short, and His ears too heavy to hear us. But our sins have separated us from God. We're going to pray according to First John chapter one verse eight and nine. He say, If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just, and we forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Today, I just want us to begin to say, uh, say, Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you for your power that has sustained me through the years and that I will sustain me in the year um, 2023, Lord, in Jesus' name. I just want us to begin to ask God for mercy and say, Oh, God of heaven, oh Lord, any sin, oh God, that I might have committed that will stand against me, oh Lord, have mercy now. In Jesus, and let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, Lord, we just pray for you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let your blood, 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 I confess that I hate the church, my heart, myself and everyone. The one that the you blood of Jesus that you from me, there, from my father, from my mother. Father, 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 father forgive me. Let the praise. blood of the Lamb of God in Jesus' name. What them we, we are praying. What just clean sanctify us. Amen. Psalm two says, praise Him for His acts of power. Praise Him for His surpassing greatness. Brothers and sisters, you being alive today is a act of God's power. You lay down, you slept, and you wake up again we went out and we're coming back in the things that are causing people to say that's a casting down has not come to us it's all that's all the acts of god's power we're going to say and say heavenly father i thank you for your power that has sustained me throughout the years the months and days that is that is still sustaining me even till now in jesus name let us be to pray oh god of heaven we to thank you oh god jesus. we give you praise Our we give you glory we give you honor for all that your power that has sustained me for my going out and my coming in for my sleeping and my raising up oh god for oh lord for all you've done in my life in my family in my home in the church in my career in my finances in my body in my health thank you jesus for your grace i bless your name i give you all the praise oh god i give you all the honor oh god i thank you all the spirit in my i lift you high oh god be thou exalted oh i thank you god in jesus name we are praying. Amen. Psalm 10 verse 3 says, Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. We're going to pray my father, my father. I surrender myself to you. I give myself in, to you in the days of your power. For you to use me in Jesus' name. As the Bible says that people will give themselves to you, O God. I surrender myself. Let me become your battle axe in this end time. Let me become that weapon of war for God in Jesus' name. Let's be to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I pray Lord, in the name of Jesus' name. I surrender myself to you and I give myself to you, O God, to you in the days of your power. That in the days of God, that you will use men as battle axe. Use me, Lord, in Jesus' name. And in the days you use men to speak to the world, use me, Lord, in Jesus' name. And in the days that you use men, O Lord, to bring healing, use me, Lord, in Jesus' name. In the days you use you use men to bring deliverance, use me, Lord, in Jesus' name. For your purpose, you use men to be a blessing. Use me, Lord, in Jesus' name. Let me be, O Lord, be a blessing in your hand. I volunteer and I give myself to you for the Use me, O God. Use me, O God. In Jesus' name. We are praying. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. I said you shall remember the Lord your God for it is he who gives you the power to get wealth. 
in the month of June, God has given us as the month of supernatural power. The month of power. And today we are praying and saying, my mighty God, I receive the power to get wealth. Henceforth, I live above lack and want, and I begin to walk in abundance in Jesus. And let us begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we stand upon our promise, oh Lord, in the name of chapter 8, verse 18. I see the Jesus, power to make wealth, the power to God, live in abundance, the power to I live in strength, the power, the power to live in grace, to the power to have plenty in the days of farming, the power to be eat and be full be in the days where people are saying it is not enough. I say I receive that power now in the name of Jesus. I say henceforth, lack shall not be my home. Oh God, one shall not be in my home. I shall never be in need of any good thing. The God of peace will fight for me and will empower me. In the that name of Jesus, because his power, his power to rest upon me as he came upon Isaac. My, my, like Isaac, I am of, in my generation. I receive a hundredfold of all God has given to me now in Jesus' name. Thank God, his soul. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6 and verse 9. And we're reading the two verses together. He said, he said to me, this is what the Lord, the word of God. This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. And verse 9 says, The hands of Jezebel have laid the foundation of this temple. Its hands will also complete it. Then you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me to you. Brothers and sisters, the ability to be able to do some things, and people should see it, is a, that is to show power. To come to North America and be able to sit with the princes is to show that God himself has empowered you. So today we're going to receive mighty God. Everything that my might and power cannot accomplish, anything that my education and my color cannot give to me, I let the power you promised come upon me to complete that work in me now in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, we pray in the name of Jesus, oh God. I pray that everything that my hand, my might, my power cannot accomplish. You say it is not by power, it is not by might. It's not because I can know how to speak. It's not because I'm wise. It's not because I have, oh God, I mean, an A student. But let your power come upon me to complete that work, to do that thing that we cause men to say, indeed, is the hand of God. In Jesus' name. I say I receive, I, I receive the power to build, I receive the power to lay the foundation, I receive the power to bring it to completion the in the name of Jesus. Of the Thank you for so in Jesus' God. name. Give we me are praying. Amen. Acts 1 8 says, uh, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness, witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria. And to the ends of the earth. And Luke 9, verse 1 to 2 also says, When Jesus had called the twelve together, he gave them power and, and authority to drive out demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Today we are asking for power. That I say, Mighty God, I receive the power to be a witness in these end days. A witness, O oh God, that we preach with boldness and with power. A witness, O oh God, that we demonstrate God's power in fullness. The, the, the weakness of God that will demonstrate God's awesomeness. That the world will see, oh God of heaven, give to me, Lord, today, Lord, in Jesus' name. That even in this month, that people are saying, oh, the, it's the pride month. The grace to be able to stand, oh God, and say, Father God of heaven, we, 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 we get people back for God. Let that power come upon us now, in Jesus' name. Let's begin to pray. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus, oh God. We ask, oh God, that we receive the power to be a weakness. But God in this end day, even in this month, oh God, that the oh enemy is trying to go to overtake people. I don't know what I said. The power to preach with boldness, not with fear. The power to demonstrate God's awesomeness. The power to preach with boldness. The power to come in now in the name of Jesus. I receive that power now in the name of Jesus. I receive that power now in Jesus. We come to you in Jesus' name. Name, Father, we are praying. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 says, He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Brothers and sisters, we have no power in ourselves. And that's why we're going to pray and say, my, my Father, my God, grant me power in every way that I am weak. In the ways I myself know that I am weak. In the ways that I myself know that I am powerless. I cannot give myself the vision. I, have not, cannot give myself, I cannot say to myself, I cannot find my own wife for myself. I cannot, oh God, bring my own children into the world by myself. Oh God of heaven, 
the power, grant me the, grant me the power in every way that I am weak, that the world may know that you are with me in Jesus. And let us be the pray. Oh God, I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God. I ask my Lord in the name of Jesus. I ask my God in Jesus. Oh my God, grant me power in every way that I am weak. I know I'm weak. Strengthen me from the crown of my head to the sole of my face. I see power that you are with me. I see power for the ministry. I see power all over the land of Canada. I see power to go to raise my children. I see power to be able to pay for it in Jesus' name. I see power now that we are with you. You are with me in Jesus' name. Thank you for the soul. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Judges chapter 14 verse 6 says, The Spirit of the Lord came, came powerfully upon him, so that he tore the lion apart like his, with his bare hands, as he might have torn a young goat. I'm going to pray and say, Holy Spirit, let your power come upon me powerfully. That every lion challenging me, I tear to pieces in Jesus. And let me to pray. Yes. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I ask God in Jesus, and let your power let come, your upon power come upon me as it came upon Father, Samson, God. That today I tear to pieces Jesus. the lion of the world, the lion of poverty, the lion of barriers, the lion of life, the lion of insufficiency, the lion of limitation, the lion of God of shame. I say I tear to pieces now in the name of Jesus. I tear to pieces now in the name of Jesus. I tear that lion of sickness to pieces. I tear that lion of bad eyesight to pieces. Oh I Lord, the lion, let the, the fire of, of the Lord fall name. upon my head. The, the fire of God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Acts chapter 4, verse 33. Say, with great power, the apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all. Amen. We're going to pray. Say, mighty God, cause your power to work in me greatly now and onward. In Jesus' name. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, that in Jesus' name, oh God, that cause your power to work in me greatly now. In the name of Jesus. Let your work power work in me greatly now. In the name of Jesus. Cause your power to come upon me now. In Jesus' name. I receive power. Oh Lord, now. Oh God, that now and onward. I let your power work you are me greatly, you God. As you did in the days of the apostle. In Jesus' name, Father, mighty God, cause your power to walk in me greatly now. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. And lastly, as a custom of the church, we're going to pray for Canada. And we're going to pray for that same power. The power power will come upon Canada, Lord, in Jesus' name. That every spirit of death. That all God of heaven will be paralyzed, O oh Lord, by the power of God, Lord, in Jesus' name. That in the land of Canada, that the Spirit of God becomes, O oh God, to move, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. That every spirit of homosexuality, O oh God, that has even caused the, world, the land of Canada to dedicate a whole month to homosexuality, to the promotion of homosexuality. With O oh God of heaven, today we break that whole Lord, in Jesus' name. That O oh God of heaven, O oh Lord, we ask that let the power of God go forth to cause as many that are dead. They are dead to all God's sin. They are dead to homosexuality. They are dead all God to perversion. I said, let them come alive now in Jesus. And let's begin to pray. Father, 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 in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, my Father. By the spirit of prophecy, I, I, I your servant, and you, Allah, I prophesy that the bread of life will come upon all the land of Canada now. Let that your breath of life begin to flow over the land of Canada. That those that are spiritually dead they receive that your bread of life and they become great and in your kingdom we so are you praying amen our father and our god we want to thank you god for this time of prayer oh god you said in your word of oh god that thy people shall be willing in the day of, the, of their power and i pray the grace to partake of your power in this month and onward so let that grace come upon us Lord, in jesus name i say by your power oh god we say we begin to walk in this land of canada that people will know that indeed that there's something supernatural behind us in Jesus' name. Thank yeah. you for it. So, God, we give you praise. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Yeah.